Yesterday, I was reading some of the news coverage mark marking the 79th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. And as more and more of our veterans, those men and women who gave their lives, who fought heroically for this nation on that day, begin to die off, fewer and fewer of us begin to remember that story, a date that was said would live in infamy. It would change our country. It would change how we live. And for many Americans, we wouldn't realize until years later what effect it would have on our lives and how we would live them. I think of that journey and the marvel at how God works. How God works through history, weaving his hand gently through all the events, all the actions, all the things that take place in our lives, and we're filled with wonder and astonishment and even joy at what God has done. And this solemnity that we celebrate today gives us the supreme example of that. We honor the Immaculate Conception, the creation of Mary in her mother's womb, the womb of Anne, that from that very moment that she was conceived, Mary was free from original sin and all sin the marvel of how God works. God so loved the world that in the fullness of time he gave the world his only begotten son. Yet we recall that he also gave us Mary. Mary, to be his mother. She would be the first tabernacle in the world to hold the body and blood of Christ in her own very womb. In doing that, God set the stage for the beautiful event we just heard in our gospel, the Annunciation, by keeping Mary pure, holy, spotless. God was able to come into our world through a human being. To a skeptical world or a puzzled teenager in Nazareth, that sounded almost impossible. The greeting that Mary heard, she was filled with fear. How can this be? How is this to happen to me? But of course, nothing, nothing is impossible for God. In fact, there's a popular carol that we sing at Christmas time or maybe even this time of year. Wonders of his love. The wonders of his love. How God works in our life. How could we not exalt at this? Because even before the crucifixion, even before the death of our Lord, even before the nativity, God was working through Mary. Before all those events of our salvation, God was working with Mary. It began there before the resurrection, before the empty tomb, before anything else. It is a salvation that in a real and tangible way began with the event we commemorate here and now, the fact of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. This is where Mary's story begins, and in a sense, it's where our story begins too. Because if it wasn't for Mary, and the fact that she was immaculately conceived, where would our history be? Where would our salvation have begun? We have to pay attention to this. This is our story. We can't forget. 
And that is why the church honors this day as a solemnity, because we give honor to the fact that Mary, through her, through her, our salvation began. Isn't it wonderful that Mary said yes? Isn't it wonderful that God, through his marvelous works, has weaved through history our salvation through a woman whom we call Mary and we honor today? Let's not forget the story because the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, too, is the solemnity of our own nation. The Immaculate Conception is for America, the United States of America, our own patronal feast. Our nation, when it was fought with war, when all Mamie seemed to be lost, our nation turned to Mary and remembered the story let us not forget today the story that it was through Mary that our salvation was won.